Lawyers, like other professionals, operate under rules designed to ensure professional competence and prevent abuse. The Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit considered such a rule in Zook v. Eastern Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Gerald Zook was a psychologist at the Eastern Pennsylvania Psychiatric Institute, which we'll call EPPI. In the 1970s, Zook videotaped some of his family therapy sessions, had EPPI duplicate them, and offered the videos for rental through the EPPI library. Zook later wrote a book that included transcripts of the recorded sessions, then copyrighted the book in 1975. After EPPI furloughed Zook in 1980, he requested that EPPI return all copies of the videotapes. EPPI ignored Zook's requests and continued to rent them out. Zook didn't pursue the matter for several years. In 1994, he renewed his demands for the videos. In 1995, attorney Benjamin Lippman, representing Zook, sued EPPI, claiming that it was continuing to rent out the videos, thus infringing Zook's copyright. EPPI moved for dismissal, asserting that EPPI owned the copies of the videos, that the copyright of Zook's book didn't protect the videos, and that EPPI's use didn't infringe his copyright. EPPI also moved for sanctions against Zook and Lippman, pursuant to Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 11. The district court dismissed the case. After a show cause, the court found that Zook's claims weren't justified either by the facts or by the applicable law. Pursuant to Rule 11, the court ordered Zook and Lippman jointly and severally to pay EPPI for attorney's fees in the amount of $15,000. Zook paid over $6,000 to EPPI. Lippman, on the other hand, appealed the sanctions order.